In a speech at American University, President Obama said the agreement is publicly supported by every country in the world except for Israel. He described a forthcoming congressional vote on the accord as a vote for war or for peace. Congressional rejection of this deal leaves any U.S. administration that is absolutely committed to preventing Iran from getting a nuclear weapon with one option: another war in the Middle East. Obama also warned that by not approving the deal, Congress would accelerate Iran's pathway to making nuclear bombs. Without this deal. Iran will be in a position, however tough our rhetoric may be, to steadily advance its capabilities. Obama's speech came amid efforts by his administration to dissuade lawmakers from trying to undermine the nuclear deal reached last month by Iran and six world powers. Congress is now reviewing the deal and will decide in September whether to approve the agreement. Obama has threatened to veto a potential rejection.